So I have this object here, which is my song in my playlist that I'm passing across the pipe. And I can see it here, but it's not being loaded into the song request. So it's actually time, I think, to request the song. So to do that, I can get rid of this and this and this. And when I get my next song, I'm going to request the list, the next queue, and I want to do a this dot YouTube service dot load video, and it's going to be my song queue dot song dot YouTube ID, and then we do a YouTube service dot play. I'll log out and log in. And it's now playing a song out of the playlist. Okay. So now the next thing is we need to get rid of in the hub those two receive songs and receive song next. when you receive song next that should be everybody in the channel because it's on connected <clears throat> so what that means is you want to have on your youtube component it's under shared youtube it looks like I don't have one anymore. <clears throat> so we'll make a new component in here called a ng generate component, call it YouTube. And in this one, we will add it to shared. call it YouTube and we'll bring these component pieces into it. <clears throat> do you find VS Code is easier to do JavaScript stuff than VS? Yeah, for Angular VS Code is much better. Okay, so here's our component. So within our room TS, or HTML, I'm going to grab my YouTube component here. And I'm going to bring that over to my YouTube component HTML. And then here we're going to do a app YouTube or something like that. Isn't that what we do? Where's my app chat app dash YouTube. <clears throat> now in my YouTube component, I'm going to open this up in another window and on the YouTube TypeScript, we need to have a couple of things in here. One of that is a song name, which is a string. We're gonna have a requested by, which is a string. We're gonna have a play value, which will be a string. And then in here we need to have a subscription, which will be a <clears throat> song next subscription, which is a type of subscription. And we need to have a on destroy. So I can also do a ng on destroy, and we can do a this dot song next dot unsubscribe 
And in my constructor here, I want to have a room service, which is called a room hub service. I waste my time. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for that follow. Appreciate it. You got any questions when I'm working on, please don't hesitate to put them into the chat. I have visual studio code, but I always find myself using sublime. Tell more. You have to tell me why you use sublime more. What's the benefits? Actually an open discussion with a couple different people that I know. I love the on screen keyboard it says I waste my time. Yes, I do. Thank you. You want to play a game? <clears throat> okay. So now what I want to do is I want to have my room service subscribed here. So it's going to be a this dot song next description is equal to mostly just the thing, but I find it less laggy than Visual Studio Code. Hey there, Mobab Zero. Thank you for that follow. Appreciate the support. If you have any questions, make sure to pop them into the chat. Also, if you guys haven't, check out our Discord, discord.pixelhorrorstudios.com. And thank you to Code Duck. Oda as well. Very much appreciate it. Same thing goes with the YouTube and yeah, appreciate the support. Okay, so we're gonna do a this dot room service dot we should have a get next song dot subscribe and it's gonna be called a song queued, which is a song request, like that. And in here I wanna do a <clears throat> New song request is a song request. And it's going to be a this dot song request is equal to song request. And then my the song name is equal to this dot song. He codes too much. How are you doing? Thank you for that follow. Very much appreciate it. You have any questions, make sure to pop them into the chat. Appreciate all the support today, guys. We need to do a this dot song name is equal to this dot song request dot song dot name. This dot requested by <clears throat> is equal to and this should be a song queued like that. Like that. And when I look at this, this should be a I song queued, which makes this song next a I song queued as does I song queued. And then we need to look at the back end and modify that to be a <clears throat> on my room hub when we request a song and we're doing the DQ where is it? it's unconnected when you're requesting the room here, we're sending it to all of them in that room. Okay, so this needs to be grouped to the And here we need to do um, my await clients.groups.join. How do I do this? How do I make them join a group in SignalR? SignalR join a group. <clears throat> I 
groups dot add to group asynchronously my context dot connection ID the group name is going to be my room dot room code and this is going to be an await and then this is going to be my room dot room code and the same thing here okay well that was easy says Mobab what do you guys know what it is Oh, I was talking about figuring out how to add groups. Yeah. <laughs> Here we also want to do <clears throat> Does this connection have a room in it? Read application user room asynchronous from my Well, a connection has a room DTO in it, so you should be able to get it from my connection <coughs> dot room dot ID, <coughs> and then I should be able to do a await groups dot remove from group, and it's going to be my context dot client connection ID, and then my room dot room dot room code. Okay, the next thing is when we are getting my next song here, when we're dequeuing this, I'm going to change this into a song queued VM. Okay, and then when we are doing this, and I'm reading my song playlist next, I'm going to change this to be called Q Song Playlist Next. And what you're going to do is you're going to get the selected song and update it. And then what I want to do is I want to say a var queued song is equal to a new song queued, which is a application user is my application user ID. But O isn't in there. That's what makes it hard. Room here is the room that this is being queued into needs to be the owner's room. So we need to get a var application user equals await my contacts dot application users dot include the room and I want to do first or default asynchronous s where my application user ID is equal to application user ID the room that this is queued into is this room the song needs to be equal to my selected song entity dot 
song. The song request type is a playlist. The weighted value is zero. And the transactions will be equal to a new list of transaction song queued, which is a new transaction song queued, which should have a, there's no currency with it. So I don't care about any transactions. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do a context dot songs queued dot add my queued song. And then here we're going to dequeue my song queued VM as a song queued VM. Okay, DQ, because it does not have the returning type of song queued VM. Q song played list next. DQ song queued asynchronous needs to be a song queued VM. Okay, that looks pretty good. So this time when I run it and I join this chat, looks like I have a bug in my YouTube component here. This is a song queued. Application user I room ID is not what we wanted. I wanted the actual user that it was requested by. Nicely done. And look, he lined up that time. Nicely done, guys. So if I look at a song queued in my interfaces, we only have this application user room ID. Now, if I look at the back end for a song queued, it has a application user attached to it. And a room ID. And when I look at my view model, it's got a application user and a room on it. So this is a application user, which is a I application user and a room, which is a I room.
in my song queued request. That's correct. Okay. Which means that this is song queued dot application user dot username. And then this dot play value is equal to this dot song queued dot weighted value dot to string. We did it. You guys wanna play again? And then also in my room component TS, let me open this thing up. We have this YouTube service. So I need to add in here a private YouTube service, which is a YouTube service. Okay. And then When we do this, I want to do a these things here. Looks good. We also need to have in here this on ready. Which is here. And this one, I don't want this request songs queued here. I want to do that on the hub service when you receive the room. We want to request the songs queued. We need to have an on change event, which I don't do anything with, but that's part of the YouTube component. And that looks pretty good to get us started. So let's check it again. We'll load up the front end. YouTube component, it's failing. see where it's failing. Do you actually have to have the on destroy here? Is that one of the things that's been a problem for me? Yeah, it has been for all of them. So we need to fix this. In my account, we need to have the on destroy. On the currencies, we need to have the on destroy. On the currency, same thing. On destroy. On home, I don't think I have any. Playlist. Right there. And we need to have here the on destroy. Playlists 
on destroy room definitely needs to have it I don't understand why what this picture represents I don't have that happen Okay, we have rooms, which needs on destroy. We have services here, which we don't. We always want to reframe it. Same thing with this one. Nothing to get rid of with this. We have off, nothing, chat needs one, Q needs one, yep, search, I'm not using search, we should actually probably delete it, song request needs one and destroy, and YouTube component needs one, I think, oh, we already have that. So now I need to fix my app module, which is gonna say I don't have a type of search component. Now I can log out. Backend's running, we can log in. Oh, it's broken. Okay, here's my cued song. So we did receive that. When I went back to the page, it didn't reload it though. Here you were connecting to the hub and then when that's done you receive your songs queued here. Same thing here. But if it's not connected then we don't need to request the room, right? And over here in request room in the hub, so that never fired. So we'll just get rid of this. Hey there, X, execute top. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them into the chat. No songs in queue, but if I look at the playlist, I still have Miley Cyrus in there, which is good. YouTube component on change doesn't exist, it says, but I know it does, I added it. It's right there. Okay, here it is, queued. Failed to invoke delete playlist.
request songs queued. Right here, receive songs queued. Didn't you invoke a, oh, request songs queued needs to be a request songs queued. I need to fix my hub. Where did I change that? It was in my room service. I feel like all of this is done. It's the new dark theme. That's because I moved the service, so let me stop this thing. Go back to the first one. Okay, here we go. Cannot find module in Q component. Thank you. component and YouTube component. Source, app, services, room hub service. I don't see where this is upset at me about. Cause that's where it is. So what's the problem here? It just hasn't been saved. YouTube component.ts says it can't resolve it. And that's not correct. There. Looks like we're good now. Strange. Log in. There it is. It's starting the song automatically. It's gonna request my songs queued here, and we don't have any. So the next thing here is I should be able to do a search for another Miley Cyrus song. Why not? Okay, we got an issue in this component. Currency name of undefined, currency name of undefined. So what that means is when I look at the room here, 
when I'm getting my search results, I'm displaying the currency name here, which should be on my room service. You should have this as a application user room and this application user room currencies. Now I only want this at now to be the first one. So if I look at this and get rid of this little bit, we change this to be like that and we only want to get the first one here. that then on my room uh, component I can change this to be that try it again there it is now I could do another one and request it same issue currency of undefined. So where am I receiving this? It's on room and it's when we're getting my data received, which is here. I'm requesting my songs queued. And then I should be assigning my room information, right? Where is this being used? In room hub service. So you're going to fire it here after you assign your room currency on your hub. So it's not that anymore. And we want my currency here to be one of them which is equal to this dot room hub service dot application user room currency. the information about the room and then this one you can get it from your room information so don't you have like a this dot room hub service dot application user room dot room dot ID. Okay, let's try it again. Log out, log in.
Good, it started the song. Now I can do a Miley. We'll search. Oh, nothing. Same issue. Cannot read property currency of undefined. But that should already be here. Because when you're connecting here, we're assigning the room information as the user currency and the room. So I want to do an alert here, which is received room information. We're going to try that again. All right. Now when we request, cannot read property currency of undefined. I think it's that. So this is currency, which is here of my application user room currency. We should have another currency inside of it and then currency name. I'm going to do a console.log here of this dot application user room currency to see what's inside of it. Undefined. Well, of course it's undefined. And now when I look at the console, Here it is, currency is null, application user room is null. So on the back end, when we're connecting, and I'm passing this across the pipe, My room currency doesn't have that. So let's add in here the include my application user room and include my currency. And we want to do the same thing here. Try it again.
Back ends running. It sent across my room information here, and this time I did get a currency, and I did get an application user room. So now when I run a test, this almost worked correctly. It says, can't read currency of undefined still. Which is... Here, you're firing this in room. And that's because you're not drilling down that far enough to get a room code. So if I look at room information, I'm passing in these VMs with these currencies, which has these DTOs, but I'm still never receiving the room. So what that means is when I'm getting my room information here, I'm going to throw in here a room DTO. Which is in the here we want to add in a room is equal to my mapper dot map to a room DTO from my room. So now when we're doing this, I can just grab this directly out of here. And now I can assign this to be a room, it's a type of I room. And we can say this dot room is equal to room information dot room, which is in here, we want to have a room, which is a type of I room. Which is here, because now I can just do this as, this is my room hub service. We have a room code here, we have an application user room, and then I have a room which is an I room. And this can be a this.room equals room information dot room. And then in the room component where this is getting fired, room information room. And I can say this room is equal to my this dot room hub service dot room. that. Now that's actually not accurate so we'll recompile it and then we'll start up the back end. Okay, we're going to retrieve my room information here, and I did. That's good. And now if I search for Miley again, almost, can't read currency of undefined.
interesting. I want this to point to this variable, which I know is getting assigned. So let me just do this first. We'll try it again. Search for it again. Okay. This time, it's not showing it to me. We failed to invoke request songs queued. Where is this getting called by? On receive songs queued, when you get one of them. So then back over here on your hub, You're going to do this, otherwise we want to do this one. It needs to be an else. That way we don't call it twice. And the same thing on your check connection. Right there. Okay. Run it again. Log out, log in. It dequeued it. It's going to run it. It'll say nothing in the queue. We can do a Miley, do a request on it. Now it's not showing me my currency. That's okay. If I look at the front end, So maybe somebody knows this better than me, but my service, I'm expecting this to assign it here. So we'll do a console.log this.application user room currency. And then this should be firing my room information, which hits this one. And here you're requesting all of your songs. So we actually don't need this at all in here. This next little bit. Because it's always going to be doing that. Okay. Room information received. We should be doing that and then in my services here, I can do my this dot currency equals room information equals this dot room hub service dot currency.
and then we'll request it. Okay, it requested the room information just fine. It added it, we do a test. Now it's working correctly. So it says object here, we want this to be a currency dot currency dot currency name. And then now we can do a test, we'll request something. I'll say this is six and we'll add it. Now it didn't work, so when I did the add song to playlist, this needs to be a add song to queue, which is here. We wanna make this request which is going to be my room hub service dot application user room dot ID. My currency ID is this dot currency dot currency dot ID. We'll try it again here. Log out. Log in. Okay, good, add in my Miley here. We'll say that this one wants to be six pixels and I'll add the song. Now I expected that to do a create song asynchronous, which is over here on Room Hub. It looks like I need to add the function. So on Room Hub, we need to have a, you currently have this set up to be on Hub Service. This needs to be Room Hub Service. And if I look at my Hub Service, we have a request Song next, request Pong, which needs to be under room service, request songs queued, request Pong, request song next. On your room, we need to have something here which digests your Pong service. So it's ping subscription. And we're gonna do a this dot ping subscription is equal to my room hub dot get ping so down here we need to have a get ping which is an observable of a string and it's going to do a return this dot ping received dot as observable needs to have a ping received, which is a I, it's just a string. So in here you have a ping request needs to do the next event called a ping event, which is a 
ping received, which means on my room component, we have my ping subscription. This is a get ping. And now if I say if my that if my ping is equal to ping, then I want to do a this.room hub service. Just to double check in my app component.ts. We have a request pong. Okay. So now that that's working, I need to look at my create song queued, which is on my hub service. We're going to move that over to my YouTube to my room service. Which is here, create song queued, which on our back end, we don't have that, so we need to have a create song queued, which is here. Move that over here. Which I'll call receive song queued. Just one. Which will fire my event and then request my songs. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and run it. Looks good. Room hub service. In my room hub service, I am doing a log so we can just get rid of that for now. And now I can do a Miley and we can request. And then I could say like six and do an add. And here it is and it's doing the create. It's added the song queued successfully. Fires back over here says receive song queued. Should have updated this. Did. And it did everything except for on my queue. Um, um, under my, my room component HTML. We have our search results here. And it did everything except for clear that, which needs to be a just a second. When you look at your app service here for the service called Receive song queued. You fire song queued received, which needs to be in here. So it's a uh, this dot room hub service dot. We never added the ping subscription. get song queued dot subscribe and this is a song queued and I'm going to say that alert this is receiving a song queued and then we also want to do my 
search results, song search results equals that. Try it again. We'll log out, we'll log in. It's got a break here. It said no, it erred on me. Let's try it again. It's updating on, it's erring on me now. It's saying an error occurred while updating the entities. So we don't know what's going on here. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna do a context, we do a room code, we search for the user, we get the room, we get the user room, we get the connection, we create the room currencies, it should read it. Then we do the base for each currency, we add it, we add to the group, we create user information, and then I send my DQ song. Asynchronous is breaking again. So we'll look at this thing. See what's happening here. So now my DQ'd song next is not null. I'm going to set it to active and then I should remove it. And then I want to add it here. Now I want to save it, and it says, nuh uh. The delete conflicted with the restraint column in song queued ID transactions because we have a transaction in there. The alternative, hey there, the Grand Mickeys. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them into the chat. The alternative is that you just leave it in there. And you just make it inactive. a second because the problem here is that I really don't need this history table anymore because we're getting my played timestamp with a list of all of the transactions so if I look at this again from my cued song which is a song request a song queued and I do a prop bool has been played and a prop bool no date time which is timestamp played and then I can in my entities I can scrap that history Same thing here. Well, 
like that. We can scrap it here. And this one's going to be a active and my cued song next dot has been played equals true. And my cued song next dot timestamp played equals date time dot utc now. We'll run it again. Okay, no more of this. No more here. No more here. And these three go away. Finally, this one. And then I do a on my code first project, a add migration, and we're going to say that this is removed history, and we'll add it. Almost four hours of my life here, says Dakota. No problem. I spend lots of hours of my life here. <laughs> Glad to have you with me. Let's do an update database here. And now we can run it. And we can run the front end. Okay, here it is. It's gonna get my next cued song. Still failed on me, so let's try it again. It says has been played, was expecting a value, but the value was null. So what that means is that I have to delete the database. So let's see here. All right, so I got to delete the database real quick. Um, I'm going to actually do this and take it as a short break. And then uh, when we're back, I think we're pretty well lined up. Um, it looks like that we're passing across the, the room information. And if I look at my front end, when I'm receiving my room information and room component, I'm asking here for my request for my songs queued. Um, probably I need to remove that and then have that here as a else and then we need to request songs here. Um, so we've got a couple more things. Uh, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be back in 11 minutes. Enjoy the music. When we come back, we'll continue forward. Uh, if you haven't, make sure you join the Discord, discord.pixelhorrorstudios.com. We're up to over 340 developers. Also, make sure you check out our YouTube. I put all these videos up there. Uh, thanks for staying with me, enjoy the music, and I'll see you guys in just 11 minutes.